Hi, hi, Santa Moon first graders. This is a uh, phonics unit five, session 13. And I think this is our very last session together. So I'm feeling a little sad. So today we're going to be talking about to wrap things up. We're going to be talking about, um, I'm going to be reminding you where we use capital letters. And then we're going to be looking for some, um, in some mess ups and why they're considered bloopers or mess ups in sentences so that we understand it a little bit better even. Okay, so let's remind ourselves. We use uppercases to, in the start of a sentence, the first letter of a sentence, the name of a person or place, the start or end of a letter. So the dear, Sally, thank you, um, your friend, Hank, or whatever your name is, right? I, the word I is always uppercase, and dates, days and months, okay? So these are the main places that we have that, that things are um, uppercases. So let's look at a couple of sentences here. And on this paper, you have this in your packet. You're going to notice, actually, I'm going to fold this a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing really well. Take it up on my board here. And I'm going to move it a little bit closer so you can see it, okay? You have this paper in your packet too. So we're going to do this paper together, and then the next paper you're going to do by yourself, and then you're going to check and see, um, you're going to go back and see what I said. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you the proper way. So this is the blooper section, and then this is the not blooper section. So these sentences, are something wrong with them, and this sentence is a similar sentence to this one, but it's not a blooper. So let's look at the first one. It said, I went to the restaurant for a sandwich. So there's something wrong with that sentence. This sentence is similar to this sentence, but it does not have a mistake in it. This said, I went to McDonald's for a sandwich. So pretty much the whole sentence is the same. I, I went, went to, to. This says the restaurant. That's different. This says McDonald's. Then four, four, a, a, sandwich, sandwich. So this one's incorrect and this one's correct. So think about why is this one incorrect and why is this one correct? I think you know. So this one's correct because they went to McDonald's. That needs to be an uppercase M, right? Because it's the proper name of a restaurant. It's a particular name. This one, what did they do? They just wrote the words the restaurant, but they made restaurant uppercase. Now, I guess you could argue that the restaurant's name is restaurant, but I've never heard of a restaurant named restaurant before. That's kind of like calling a dog dog. So that's a little odd. So I think that they're just ta talking about the restaurant and they're not talking about a particular, uh, a, the name of the restaurant. So this should not be an uppercase because that is not the name of the restaurant. It's just a restaurant, if that makes sense. Okay, let's look at the second sentence. This says, we went to the baseball stadium. This one says, we went to Yankee Stadium. So let's see what's the same. We is the same, went is the same, two is the same. And then it says, the baseball stadium. There's something wrong about that. And then it says, Yankee Stadium. And there's something right about that. So what do you think that might be? So yes, Yankee Stadium is the name of a particular stadium in New York City. That's where the New York Yankees play. Now this just says baseball stadium. And there's nothing wrong with just saying the baseball stadium, but the base, the B in baseball and the S in stadium don't need to be uppercase here because it's just talking about a baseball stadium. It's not, it's not, it's not referring to a, a particular name one. If it said um, going to the giant stadium then it would be an uppercase G and an uppercase S, right? Because that's the name. It's the Giants. The Giants are our team. Or maybe the um, A's are your team. I'm not sure which one. But anyway, because that's a particular team, that those would be uppercase. But this one isn't. This just says baseball stadium. So that would be not uppercased, okay? So now what I want you to do is I want you to take this paper. This is a paper that has a few more on it. And I want you to push pause on the tape thing on the YouTube and I want you to figure out all these yourself so on this paper you're gonna find um, you've got bloopers and non bloopers same same setup as the last paper okay so you've got Sally is my friend Sally is my pal 
I dressed up like a superhero. I dressed up like Wonder Woman. My sisters are nice. Lisa and Chloe are nice sisters. I love holidays. I love Halloween. Do you have a favorite weekday? Do you like Thursdays the best? You will visit your grandma in the summer or you will visit your grandma in August. So I want you to stop the tape. I want, or the YouTube, I want you to see, mark up all the ones you've, that you find that are incorrect on this side and try to think about why they're incorrect and then this side, why they are correct. Okay. And then come back and we'll look at it together. Okay. Okay, so now you're, you should be back. You should have marked this up. If you haven't marked it up, stop it and go ahead and do that because I want to make sure that you have some time to really practice this on your own, okay? So this side is the incorrect side. This side is the correct side. So Sally is my friend. What do you think could be wrong with that sentence? So Sally should be uppercase, right, because it's a name. Is my friend. Should should the F and friend be uppercase? No, that's not that's not their name. It's just she's just saying they're your friend. So you're gonna make that lowercase. And then this one I noticed this doesn't have a punctuation at the end. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but let's just put a period there because we should do that. Now this one says, Oh, interesting. Sally friend is my pal. That's a little confusing. That's making the word friend be her last name. So this one's not a blooper, so we don't have to fix anything on that side. So that's why that's that's correct, even though that is a little confusing. I could see why you guys might think that that shouldn't be uppercase, but it means friend is referring to her last name here. This one says, I dressed up as a superhero. And this one says, I dressed up as Wonder Woman. So this one's correct, because Wonder Woman's a proper name, but what did, what's wrong over here? That's right, the S in superhero and the H in... Uh, the essence super and the agent hero should not be uppercase because they're not telling you which superhero there. It's not a name. It's just a superhero. So those should be lowercase. Those have no reason to be uppercase. Okay, this one. My sisters are nice. So this uh, this one, there's a problem in this one. So the M should be uppercase because at the beginning of the sentence. Should the S be uppercase? No, it's not saying their names. So that's not their name. Their name, they're... That's just who they are in their family, right? My sisters. But here, they made it clear. They said Lisa and Chloe are nice sisters. They These should be uppercase because those are their actual names, okay? But here, the word sisters is not uppercase because usually you wouldn't uppercase that unless it was the beginning of a sentence. Okay, this says, I love holidays. So what's wrong with the sentence? The I should be uppercase because it's the beginning of the sentence and it's the word I. What do we have? The H is uppercase, should that be uppercase? No, because it's not talking about a particular holidays, it's just saying I love holidays. On the other hand, here it says I love Halloween, Halloween is a holiday, it's a particular holiday, it's a specific holiday, so that one needs to be uppercase. Okay, here you have, do you have a favorite weekday? Again, D needs to be uppercase because it's the beginning of the sentence. Does W need to be uppercase? No, because that's not giving the name of a weekday, right? So that should just be a lowercase w for the word weekday. And then the, do you like Thursdays the best? Again, they uppercase the T in Thursdays because that is the specific name of a weekday. And that one should be uppercase because it's that proper name. Here we have you will visit your grandma in the summer. You've got the Y in U uppercase and the S in summer uppercase. Then it says down here, you will visit your grandma in August. So you've got the Y in the beginning of the sentence and U uppercase and the A in August. So that's correct because August is the name of a, a proper name of a month. So that needs to be uppercase. But in the summer, does the S need to be uppercase? No, the season does not need to be uppercase. That's something that a lot of people argue about. So you can, you can see if your parents disagree with that one. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, so this is the kind of thing we want you to notice it as you're reading and writing. As you write, you know, go back. It's the kind of thing, go back and edit it, your, edit yourself. Go back and look and see, hey, did I, did I uppercase everything? Did I put all my punctuation in? These are things to go check after you've written because while you're trying to get your thoughts down on the paper, you don't really want to have to stop and think, what should I be uppercasing? What should I be putting periods and stuff in? Go back and, and fix that stuff afterwards if, if that's hard for you to do while you're actually writing. For some people, they like doing it at the same time. And once you get more comfortable with it, you'll get there and you'll just you'll, you'll just automatically do it. And you won't even think about it. That's the weird part. You'll start writing 
and you'll start your sentence with an uppercase and you'll put in commas and periods and you'll you'll make all the names uppercase and you'll put all every time you write the word i you'll make it uppercase and all your weekdays and months you won't even think to, it would feel so weird to do it lowercase and that sounds funny but it's true once you get really really used to writing and reading it it will just feel natural and you won't it won't feel like you have to, you don't have to think about it anymore it's kind of like riding a bike you just get on the bike and pedal right you don't think to yourself i have to push with my right foot and now my left foot now my right foot now i need to brake and now i need to steer your body just does it you just it just takes over and it's going to be the same thing with reading and writing the more and more you do the more natural it gets and the more comfortable it gets so i know it's hard i know it's not easy to force yourself to do hard things but if you can do hard things a little bit they get easier and that's kind of the cool part and if you can practice a bunch this summer your reading and your writing you're going to find that when you start school in august that it's so much easier for you and you'll just go right into it and you'll think oh my gosh this is so easy peasy the beginning of second grade is nothing and it won't be it'll be totally easy for you guys especially if you keep up the reading and writing over the summer and if if the writing feels a little bit hard for you, try to write about things you like, like, or maybe you want to email someone in your family you don't get to see. My daughter used to always email her grandmother. Um, you could email an aunt or an uncle or um, a cousin maybe who doesn't live nearby. You can write them letters too. You don't have to just email them. You can do it either way. You could text them, whatever, whatever is an easy form for you to do that they, they will respond to you. Do that. Maybe you want to even make your teacher your pen pal. I know that um, I would be I would be more than happy to be a pen pal with kids. So just just try to write as much as you can, and that, I promise you it's going to get easier, even if it's a little hard to start with. Okay, all right. So I've had a really fun time teaching you guys phonics this year, and um, I can't wait to see what you can do next year and hear from your second grade teachers about how awesome you all are. But um, have a good rest of your day. Bye.